So one thing we should definitely all be practicing is reloads, right? Putting new ammunition in our firearm. However, lots of drills and techniques out there that are taught say, well, you know, load your mag to 10 rounds, do a slide lock reload and shoot five more rounds or something. And while that seems all fine and dandy because now I'm training my reloads, in reality, you're knowing when your slide lock reload's coming, which you never would, and you're training yourself to do the worst reload possible. So there's a couple different kinds of reloads. First is the tack mag, where there's no rush to it. I have all the time in the world. Let's say I just shot a string of fire and I decide to reach my hardest to reach magazine and just top off my gun. I'm not throwing this magazine on the ground. If it has bolts in it, I'll retain it. Maybe I'll put it back backwards in a different pouch so I don't think it's a loaded mag. And I'm just topping off my gun. This could be after a course of fire before I reholster, or this could be when there's you know a lull in the gun fight, when backup arrives, whatever, and I can fully restock my gun, but I don't have to do it really quickly. So the second type of reload is probably the reload you really want to be doing the most, and that's a speed reload. So let's say you've shot a couple rounds down range, and now you're going to want to maybe stock up on your magazines. Maybe you have a second, maybe you're about to engage more threats, more targets. So what you're going to do, drop that old magazine, insert a new one, and get back on target. Uh, we don't have to worry about retaining this magazine because right now what's really important is the speed at which we're putting new bullets in our gun. And now we've got the last type of reload, um, the reload that I mentioned earlier, the slide lock reload, where we fire our gun and our gun is completely out of ammunition. The slide locks back to the rear. Now the reason this is so bad is because I could be right in the middle of doing something, you know, shooting a bad guy, shooting a stage of fire in a competition, and now with that bad guy right in front of me, I have to recognize him out of ammo, insert the new magazine, drop the slide, and re-engage. I'm not choosing the reload, I'm not controlling the gun, the gun is controlling me. It is telling me when I'm shooting, it is telling me when I'm doing things, and ultimately when we shoot, we want to be in control of what's going on. So while it seems to be cool to, in your drill, you know, shoot 10 rounds, reload, shoot five or whatever, just do a standard reload. You don't have to prep your magazines low or anything like that. And now you might say, well, then how am I going to prep my slide lock reload? Well, throughout the day, you know, I pick up my old magazines and, you know, one of my magazines, as I keep shooting throughout the day, it's going to have only so many rounds in it. So even if I am tack magging and speed, re speed reloading throughout the day, if I'm using the same mag, eventually I'm gonna to come to a slide lock anyway. So that's why I can get that practice in. And we want the slide lock to surprise us. If I'm doing one R1s or two R2s or anything like that, I know it's coming, so I'm really not getting any practice. The reloads that I know are coming should be the speed reloads, where hey, I know I'm gonna conduct that reload anyways, and that's how it would be in a real life situation. So if you guys enjoyed watching the video, if it helped you think a little bit about reloads and when you should be reloading, go ahead and leave a like down below. Um, if you love slide lock reloads and you think every other type of reload is stupid and you just love running out of ammunition in gunfights, well, there's a dislike button for a reason. Otherwise, guys, go ahead in those comments, contribute to the conversation. Maybe you have some different theory, some different idea. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, guys, I'm uploading new videos every Saturday. Subscribe and stay tuned.